do a couple more examples of finding the vector cross product. Uh, suppose that I give you these two vectors, a and b, which both lie in the plane of the, look, it's my hand, <laughs> which both lie in the plane of the page, okay? So there are a and b, and you want to find the direction of a cross b. To find the magnitude, you would do a times b times the sine of the angle between them, but we just want to find the direction right now. Uh, and to do this, we're going to use the right-hand rule, but first we can use a little bit of logic. So first of all, logic says this, whatever the direction of a cross b is, which let's call that c, a cross b, We'll call that C. Uh, it has to be perpendicular to both A and B, or perpendicular to the plane of the page. Well, there are only two directions that that could be, right? What that means is that C either must point straight out of the page, or it must point straight into the page. And to figure out which one of those two directions it is, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put our fingers along A. So there are two ways to do that. You could either put your fingers along A this way, or you could put your fingers along A this way. And you have to do it in the way that will let you swing A down into B, like it was a little hinge. So if you try that, notice, if you do it this way, it's the wrong way, right? You'd have to swing all the way the long way around. If you want to just simply fold A into B, the way to do that is to put your fingers this way, then you can curl them down this way. Notice when you do that, your thumb is pointing into the page. So therefore, the answer is that C is into the page. And actually, oh, I got Margaret on my wall. Actually, uh, the, way we, the way we represent that is that's represented into the page is represented by a little X with a circle around it. You're supposed to think of it like the tail feathers of an arrow that's pointing into the page.